Hello friends. Today let us talk about a very interesting topic. Budget. Which we all love making. When an income comes in the family, the first thing that happens is that let's make a budget and we should try to spend money according to that. Suppose, let us talk about a family who has a monthly income of 50,000. Their combined income. The combined income, I mean, the father must be earning, the mother was, must be earning, must be a grandfather who is getting his pension. So, combining all that, they have a monthly income of 50,000. Now, in the beginning of the month, they make a budget and they try and say, they spend, they calculate that they will spend 45,000 of the money and save 5,000 rupees per month. But it may happen that your income, if father is a businessman, it may happen that the income may turn out to be less than 50,000 or it may turn out to be more than 50,000. Or it can also happen that there is some emergency in the house, the 45,000, the amount that was supposed to be spent, that also increases. It becomes 55,000. So instead of a surplus, there becomes a deficit of 5,000 rupees. So budget is something that we make out of the receipts that we are going to get and our expenditures that we are going to do in a period of time. It can be a surplus budget when you save or it can be a deficit budget when you spend more or your income becomes is short of your uh, spendings. Your spendings are more and your income is less. So it can be any of this situation. Now, when I'm talking about a family, you can easily calculate and say this. But when I talk about a country, the magnitude definitely becomes big. And we are going to talk about this only today. Budget made by the government of India and the terms associated with it. So first, let us understand what are the earnings of the government or what are the government receipts and where exactly the government spends, what are its expenditures. Now the government receipts and expenditures both can be classified into two ways. They can be classified in capital receipts and revenue receipts and capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. Now first let us talk about the receipts. From where does the government get money? Government gets money through direct taxes, indirect taxes, licenses, the 3G license or the coal license, the coal allocation that it does, it is a very big source of money for the government. The profits from the PSUs, the interest that it gets from the loan that it gives to the other state governments, the various aid, grants and donations that it receives and loans and borrowings that it does. Now all these types of receipts are revenue receipts. Revenue receipts are that is generated from revenue, direct taxes, indirect taxes. These are all source of revenue and they are revenue receipts because they are repetitive in nature. Loans, borrowings and recovery of old loans, all these are capital receipts of the government. Long term earnings these are. Similarly, expenditures are also capital and revenue in nature. Revenue expenditures are the, those which are recurring in nature like the government that spends on development, education, defense, law and order, subsidies, constructions. These all are revenue expenditures of the government that it has to do in order to maintain the normal the machinery of the government, the normal workings of the government. These are the expenditures that it does. And what are the capital expenditures? Capital expenditures are the repayment of loans that it does and interest and all. Machineries, long term assets that are created, it buys machineries, it buys equity shares. These are all capital expenditures of the 
government. So we have broadly understood that these are the government receipts and these are the government expenditures that government spends. And how does it make it budget? We'll talk about this.